of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's for you to catch those. And now, here's our host, Wink Martindale. Thank you. Ta-da. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hey, welcome to our show. We have a couple of very delightful ladies currently playing our game. And when the last show was over, we had to interrupt the game, and we want to get right back to it. First, let's meet those ladies right now. Jay, if you will, please. Okay, Wink. Our current champion who's winning today in cash and prizes total $10,350. She's a business education teacher. Meet Roberta Colmer. And her opponent is an attorney who enjoys playing tennis and piano. Meet Barbara Keel. Well, of course, we always, as usual, start with a champion. Roberta, welcome back with your $10,350 in cash and merchandise, about which your husband uh, must be very, very pleased, I would think. He doesn't believe it. <laughs> your friend Nancy, in the audience before this show started, told me a story about how she and you came down for a recent taping, and you didn't get on that particular uh, show. So when you got home and confronted both of your husbands, what had the dog done at your house? Uh, he tore down all the drapes into shreds. Well, I understood he ate them. Yeah, they were just in pieces. Well, he didn't eat them. He just left them in pieces all over. Weird dog, Roberta. Well, he, I guess, wanted to get out, and he was alone in the house. What did and... your husband say about all this? Ah, uh, he said, isn't that a shame that he didn't make them like I had? Not what Nancy <laughs> told me. You know what Nancy said? Nancy said your husband said, baby, you better win on that show or else <laughs> out. Out. By the way, I hope uh, you like your new dog. <laughs> Roberta, <laughs> hey, welcome back to the show. Good luck. Thank Hello, you. Barbara. Hi. Golly, you are an attorney. Um, how long have you been an attorney? How long you had the shingle out? Year and a half. Year and a half. How's business? Not bad. A lot of law. People need law. What? what is it, just like food, everybody's got to have an attorney everybody. every now and then. Hey, Barbara, welcome back. Good luck to Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's take a look at our categories for this particular show. As you'll remember from the last time, we were dealing with these subjects. Cars, the 50s, classical music, movies, bios, symbols, comic strip, Beatlemania, and take a letter. The game was interrupted on our last show. Here's what the board looked like when we stopped. Roberta and Barbara. X's, how many? One. Oh, there it is, down there in the bottom left-hand corner <laughs> of the board. I'm sorry. Listen, if you'll just be patient, I'll catch up with all the rest of you. Let's move all the categories around on the board. Boy, I'll tell you. Eyes are the first thing to go. $200 in the pot. Roberta, would you begin, please? I'll try upper left comic strip. Comic strips, all right. Whew. A popular comic strip stars a group of cavemen named Clumsy Carp and Thor, a woman named the Fat Broad, and the title character. Name him. B.C.? Right. Good for an X. So we put an X there, put $200 in the pot, and move the categories around. We shift them all around on the board. All right, Barbara, I'm, I've caught up now. Select. Well, I'll have to block. I'll take Beatlemania. Beatlemania for a block. Answer this, you'll block Barbara. What animal completes the title of this 1969 Beatles classic, Everybody's Got Something to Hide Except Me and My What for a block? Dog? Monkey. Uh. Everybody's Got Something to Hide Except Me and My Monkey. Beatles song. So nothing for that one, Barbara. Let's move the categories around. Still $400 in the pot. And Roberta, we're back to you again. Oh, I'm going to try classical music. Okay, you sound like you're not quite sure, though, I'm Roberta. I'm really not. If you answer this, you'll pick up $600. You'll add that to your prior winnings. That would give you a total of $10,950, Roberta. This Italian-born conductor was one of the most eminent of our times. He conducted at La Scala, at the Metropolitan, and at Carnegie Hall. He was appointed conductor of the NBC Symphony Orchestra in 1937. For $10,950, name him. Andre Previn? No, goes back a little further than that. Arturo Toscanini. Saved, Barbara, by Arturo. Let's move the categories around. Still $400 in the pot. Barbara, still have a shot at it. And I'll have to take cars to block again. For a block on cars. In 1970, a new world land speed record of 622 miles per hour was established on the famous Bonneville Salt Flat. Now, for a block, in what state are the Bonneville Salt Flats located? Utah? Yes, that's right. 
Good for a block. Put it over there. Add $300 to the pot, and we'll be back right after these commercial words. I think we need some power. Tired of playing. Hello, Roberta. You could have wrapped that game up a few minutes ago. However, Barbara is still very much alive in this game, and you are, Roberta. You have defeated two opponents so far. If you defeat three more for a total of five, listen to Jay Stewart. It's a brand new car you win. The Buick Skyhawk with a compact even firing V6 engine for smooth economical power. Overall sporty starting in comfort, the Skyhawk. Thank you, Jay. We have $600 in the pot now. Let's shuffle the categories around and we'll continue. Six boxes remain on the board. Roberta, select one, please. Where do you move? I'm going to try comic strips, lower right again. All righty, comic strips. The subject, this English cartoon character, plays darts, drinks beer, doesn't pay his rent, and lets his wife, Flo, do all the work. Name him. Andy Cap. I'm sorry, we can't use that question because somebody blurted that one out in the audience. We're going to throw that one away, Roberta. Okay. I'm very sorry. Okay. And we'll have to ask you another question in the same category, comic Fine. strips, okay? Fine. Very sorry about that. Okay. Please, audience, no coaching, please. Name this bald-headed kid who never utters a word and has a comic strip named after him. Henry. Henry. Now I feel doubly bad that uh, that happened in the audience. Okay, let's move the categories around. $600 in the pot. And Barbara, it's your turn. Well, this is a hard one. Uh, I think I'd better try classical music in the center, though. All right, it's worth $300, Barbara. As you said, it's a little harder, but we give you a little extra time with your answer. There are four specific divisions of musical instruments in a symphony orchestra. Percussion is one of them. I want you to name two of the remaining three. Here's some extra seconds for you. <laughs> Barbara, to repeat, there are four specific divisions of musical instruments in a symphony orchestra. Percussion is one. Name two of the remaining three, and you'll have the center box. Strings. Right. And woodwind. Right. Brass is the other. Very good. We put an O there, $300 into the pot, and shuffle the category. <laughs> Move them all around, and we go back to you, Roberta. $900 pot now. I want to block with take a letter. All righty. Answer this, you'll block Barbara. The letter is N. N. The French diplomat who introduced tobacco to his native country lends his name to the most dangerous ingredient in a cigarette. For a block, name it. Nicotine? Right. In for nicotine. Put an X there. Shuffle the category. Four blocks in English. What are the subjects? There they are. Barbara? I think I'll try the 50s. The 1950s, top center. Question. In 1950, the Supreme Court handed down a landmark decision stating that no one could be forced to testify against himself. What constitutional amendment was the basis for the ruling? The 14th Amendment. No, I'm sorry. It's the 5th Amendment, Barbara. The 5th Amendment. I should no have one known that one. No one could be forced to testify against himself. Barbara, about your law practice. It just took a step yeah. backwards. No, no, they'll forgive you, Barbara. I guess. Let's move the categories now. Still four boxes on the board. $1,100 in the pot. And after we shuffle as we have, Roberta, your turn. I want to try cars, upper right. Cars, upper right. Question. The classic cars produced by this country have included the 1914 Silver Ghost, the 1925 Vauxhall, and the 1931 Aston. Name this country. England? Yes. Good for an X. We put an X there and shuffle the category. $1,300 in the prize. Three subjects on the board. I'll block with take a letter, Wink. Answer this. You'll block Roberta, Barbara. Your letter is H. H. This unit of measurement is used to express the power of an engine. Now, for a block, what is this unit of power? Horsepower? Yes, that's exactly right. Good for an O. So we put an O there, $1,500 in the pot. If you look at the board, Roberta and Barbara, I don't have to tell you, but I will. There are two boxes remaining. The subjects are going to change. Let's see what comes up in those boxes as we shuffle. Bios and classical music, Roberta. I don't feel too good about either, but I think I feel better about classical music. All right. Classical music, the oh, category. Yeah. Answer this, and you'll win the game. You'll pick up $1,700 in cash. Added to your prior winnings, Roberta, your total would be $12,050. Beethoven's Ninth Symphony features four vocalists and a chorus. For $12,050, 
by what name is it known? The Scottish, the New World, or the Corral? The Corral? Yes, for six seconds. Roberta, congratulations to you. Good game. Good game. Was that a guess? Um, I was thinking that the name of it was The Corral, and then when you said that, I was pretty sure I had it, yeah. but I wasn't positive. So that multiple choice question helped. Oh, right yes. <laughs> well, they come up every now and then, and you got one at the right spot. And those three X's vertically mean $1,700 to you added to your prior winnings. Of course, you go up to $12,050. <laughs> and you and Nancy get to play against the dragon <laughs> in just a second. Roberta, so stand by. Barbara, I hope we haven't hurt your law practice by you being on there. You know we were kidding about that, that law question. That could happen to any of us. But um, I want to thank you for playing our game. It was an excellent game and a lot of fun and a very, very well-played game. We have a couple of nice going-away presents for you and our thanks for being with us on Tic Tac Day. Thanks for having me. Barbara Thiel. We're going to take a commercial timeout, and then we'll take Roberta to take on the dragon. The brand new limited... You told us when you first came on the show, you used to dance uh, ballet, right? Yes. Well, just ballet yourself on over here and let's beat the dragon. Come on over. What kind of ballet was that? <laughs> you're cute. You know that? You're cute. I'll bet you're a good dancer, too. One. <laughs> light on her feet. Very light on her feet. And you have a little daughter now at three months old? Three years old. Three years old. Oh, it makes a little difference, doesn't it? Yeah. Behind the numbers on the board, as you know, are various denominations of money and the dragon. And if you get $1,000 or more up on the board, here's what you're going to win. Jay, what do you have? Roberta, it's Tic Tac Toe's kitchen package. First, for economical food storage, it's a refrigerator. A family-sized, frost-free refrigerator from White Westinghouse. 18 cubic foot capacity with slide-out rollers and adjustable cantilevered shelves from White Westinghouse. And for leisure time on laundry days, it's a washer and dryer. A deluxe speed clean washer with stainless steel tubs, three automatic wash cycles, and bleach dispenser. Plus a matching gas or electric dryer with a special cool and tumble permanent press cycle. Both furnished by Speed Queen, a Madro Edison Company division. And next, for elegant entertaining, from Oneida Silversmiths, a beautiful assortment of showplace gifts for all your entertaining and gift giving needs, including your choice of luxurious stainless flatware and silver plated hollowware from Oneida. And finally, Roberta, to prepare simple snacks or gourmet meals, it's a rain. The energy saver from Hardwick. Solid state ignition eliminates standing gas pilots and saves fuel. Continuous cleaning oven available in five colors. Furnished by the Hardwick Stove Company. And Roberta, this kitchen package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,600. Nice tidy sum for some very nice prizes. Stay away from the dragon. Get the chicken attack, you automatically get the dough. You know all of that. Let's move everything around on the board, cover them all up, and we are going to get started. And, of course, you have Nancy out there as your usual aide to help you make your decisions. Uh, you want to go to Nancy first, or you want to call the first one? Me, huh? Okay, three. I get the feeling Nancy's running this show here for Pete's sake. All right, number three. What do we have for Roberta behind number three? Is it money? Tick, tack, yeah, money. $100. Now let's go back up. Yeah. Okay, Nance, what do you say, darling? Seven? Yeah, I thought you said seven. Let's look behind number seven. To go with that $100 bill, let's put some real money up there. Yeah, there's 300 more. $400. Let's go back to Nancy. Nancy, what do you think, darling? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight it is. Right next door to that 300. Maybe it'll be four or five, but not the dragon. No, let's cross our fingers and take a look. 150. We'll take it. We'll take it. 550. We need 450 more now to make a win out of this whole thing and get that kitchen you want to try five in the center? Okay, number five. Let's look behind five. You got 550 plus six. Add that to Jack. You got an automatic win. Nancy, take a look. She is concentrating on this thing. Yeah, what is she like? Number four could do it for you. All you need is attack or 450. Let's look behind number four. What do we find? Oh! Golly, that's the first time, and I felt so good about number four, Nancy. Let's do something for Nancy. She's done something for this young lady, Roberta, for the past few times she's been at the board, and we haven't done a darn thing for her, okay? Can we take a second to do something for her? Sure. Everybody, follow me. Boo! <laughs> we did that in kindness. Oh, 
she's pretty too. Listen, she can get away with a lot of bad calls, as far as I'm concerned. Well, let's see, where was Tag on the, I think I just made an enemy out in the audience. He's uh, dressed in white. Let's look at the rest of the board. One, two, six, and nine. Tick was there. Tack right above it. By golly. Behind number two. However, your winnings are considerable. I'll tell you what. I don't do this very often, but occasionally when I get a good, strong voice, I like for the person that is standing here with me to give his or her own total. Would you do that for me? Okay. Now, you got to do it with gusto because the boss is here in the audience today, all right? Okay. Your winnings in cash and prizes have now risen to... I don't know where this is. Honey, look right over there, Mike. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Honey, you see that right over there? Huh? All right. Are you ready? Your winnings in cash and prizes have now risen to... 12,000. No, 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 no. 12,000. Okay. Your winnings now in cash and prizes have risen to... $12,050. Very good. How about that? You want to play again? All right. Go over there. We'll get a new game underway. Okay. <laughs> Jay, who do you have for Roberta this time? Well, Wink, we're going to welcome a plant manager whose hobby is talking on the TV radio. Meet Jim Zurich. <laughs> Hello, Jim, and 10-4, good buddy. Oh, 10-4, Wink. How do you use your CB? Oh, I uh, enjoy talking to all my good CB buddies out there, and then uh, I uh, volunteer about four hours a week as a volunteer for REACT. For what? REACT. What's REACT? REACT is a national organization that monitors the uh, CB Emergency Channel 9 and attempts to get help for people that have a problem. What's your handle? Uh, well, I was born and raised in Ohio, and I uh, lived in California for the last uh, 15 years or so, so I'm the California Buckeye. Well, this here is the Tic Tac Doe Boy. Oh! <laughs> well, I'll don't listen. you love it? <laughs> I'll listen for you. isn't it? <laughs> hey, why don't we 10-10 and take a good look at the categories and get this game underway, all right? <laughs> I gotta shut up if I got a 10-10. <laughs> that means I'm through transmitting. Jim, would well, just follow me, please? Just follow my lead. Don't question the MC and the host. Take a look at the board. Here are the subjects. We're dealing with Jackson Johns, women writers, colors, men of the sea, Africa, TV stars, the odd one, solar system, and famous first. Okay, Roberta, you go first. I'll try colors, upper right. All right, upper right-hand corner, colors. Roberta, this famous German forest which has been the scene of many ancient legends and fairy tales, is noted for both its mineral springs and dark fir and spruce trees. Name it. The Black Forest? Yes, that's exactly right. Put an X there. Let's shuffle the categories all around on the board. Watch <laughs> now worth $200. All right, Jim, now we're going to get serious. Well, I guess you got to... I guess I have to go to the odd one in the middle. Okay, the odd one's worth $300. Jim, only one Major League Baseball player in the last 48 years has hit over 400 in a full season. His nickname was the Splendid Splinter. First, I want you to name him, and then name the Eastern team he played for. Think about that. The only baseball player who's hit 400 in the last 48 years, they called him the Splendid Splinter, Jim. Name him. Ted Williams. Right. Name the Eastern team he played for. The Boston Red Sox. Gotta be. Yeah, it's been great part. Put it over there. Let's move the categories again. Yeah, $300 to the top, making it $500. And, Roberta, back to you. Um, I'll try the odd one, upper left. Okay. Here's your question in that category. In the history of the Olympic Games, only one nation has ever defeated the United States to win the Olympic gold medal in basketball. It happened in 1972. Name the nation. Russia? Yes, that's exactly right, Roberta. Our next goes there. Let's shift the categories around on the board. $700 to the pot, Jim. Oh, boy. I have to go with TV stars to block. All right. Sounds like you're not too sure about television. Mm -hmm. Don't watch that much. All right, Except Jim. Tic answer Tic this Tic and you'll block her. <laughs> First, I want you to take a look at this picture, Jim. This is the eldest son of an overpopulated television family. For a block, name the family. Oh, eight is enough, but... Uh... The Bradfords. The Bradfords. The actor <laughs> is, uh, is Grant Goodeve, I think is his name. He stars as David in the series, Eight is enough. We're going to take a commercial break, then we'll be right back to continue Tic Tac Joe. To see color face by Game World and Super Decade. With that board looking like it does, I hate to end at this particular point, but we got to because we're out of time. Uh, Roberta, I'm sure you'll be back.
Yeah. Uh, to try to add to your winnings, and uh, we're just going to have to say 10-10 for this show. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to do, but we welcome all of you back, including our two contestants for the next show. I'm Wink Martindale for Tic Tac Toe. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> All of our departing contestants will receive the home game version of the new Tic-Tac-Toe, which is much fun playing it as watching it on TV. In addition, some of our departing contestants will receive Squeeze Parquet from Kraft. It's a convenient way to spread that delicious creamy parquet flavor on any food you serve. And Mist Sense, the pocket size air refresher for your car, home, or office juice with six pleasant Mist Sense fragrances. Plus, two forming a bonus theme. It's modern brightening system gets colors brighter and cleaner than the leading all-fabric leash, and it removes stains better, too. And some Sea Breeze, this handy tote, plus a family of Sea Breeze skin care products, including Sea Breeze antiseptic skin lotion, complexion bar, and breeze at. Plus, the great refinishing team, zip strip paint, varnish, and stain remover, and zip guard, clear urethane wood finish for that professional look. Bob Barker is bringing you a full hour of The Price is Right. No coupons necessary. Then stay tuned for the best moments from the best games. GSN Game World is at 7 p.m. only on Game Show Network.